Hey everybody, Will from Holdfast Marine, your local boat shop. Uh, this is going to be the start of part four. Probably going to film this over a couple of days. And we're going to get right into it uh, today because I don't have much time this afternoon and I want to get as much done as I can so that we can get to the gel coat. Well, what do we got going on here? Well, we've got our box here. And I put some polyester fairing compound. The edges needed to come up a little bit. Um, the back side down here is good. And then I'm just gonna spend some time and kind of attempt to square off the edges just a little bit uh, so that the lids fit a little bit better. So that's where we're at right now. We're gonna be using, if you guys watch the video of how to make a long board that I put up, um, we're gonna be using the long board to take out all of this junk there. And uh, yeah, we're gonna be using um, 180 grit uh, Dura sticky back paper to start with um, and then I'm going to probably switch over to some hand sanding and hand sand those edges up. So as you all know I like to do we're going to ramp up that time lapse right now. Well, now that we've got the sanding done, um, there's a few spots that need some attention. Um, these corners came out pretty square. There's a couple of little right there's, and this side has, as you can see, a little bit of a chip, chip out down there. So I'm gonna mix up another batch. This area is pretty smooth, but needs a little skim. And then uh, this smaller side, pretty much from here. Well, I'll show you. If you look, you can see, well, maybe you can't, but trust me, it's it's low right there. I can see, I can see the camera through the crack. Aren't these videos great, everybody? Aren't they wonderful? Because they're just a train wreck. Like, <laughs> they're just a freaking train wreck all the time. Okay, um, we've got the fairing compound on and it is drying as we speak, or I speak. Um, I mixed up two ounces and if you saw in the time lapse, I actually took the mixing can and I hit it down. And what that does is it flattens it out. So you can kind of see how many ounces are in there. That was again, two ounces uh, roughly mixed up, uh, which would call for, <coughs> excuse me, um, 28 or 30, drops of MEKP. I put in 50 uh, because I want this to get set up. Um, I am doing this because I'm here. I do not recommend adding way more MEKP than is necessary if you're not going to be at your shop. Well, righty-ho, um, it's pretty well dry. It's been about an hour. Um, 
and it's all ready to go to be sanded. So I'm, I'm not even going to film it because you guys have seen sanding before. Um, so I'm going to sand this with the 80 grit this time to make it a little bit easier on me. And then I'm going to hit the inside of it with the DA, check all of my edges, and then maybe, just maybe, might spray some gel coat before I go home today. It's almost 3 o'clock, so we'll see what happens. All right, everything's sanded up, and I'm going to spray my first coat of gel coat on. The majority of the operation here is going to be on this old file cabinet and this Lazy Susan so that I can get in and I can spin the piece. That way, every when I'm spraying, everything is going to be focused in this direction and caught by the, the plastic, hopefully. My heater's coming on right now, and I'm going to want to shut that off before I start pray, uh, spraying. Praying and spraying, pretty much. Reason being is that's an open flame heater, right? Propane. All this flammable stuff that's going to be in the air could technically be ignited and blow me thusly through the door and we don't want that. This is an HVLP uh, spray gun, just like you've seen people paint cars with. Same thing. Most of these will not work for gel coat and the reason is, is because the nozzle isn't large enough. This is a 2.5 inch or 2.5 nozzle, excuse me. And that is more than enough to allow that gel coat to come through there. If you do one thing, when you buy this, and I'm gonna put a link down below where I bought it, it's gonna come with, it's gonna come inside with one of these little filters. See that filter? You have to take this out. If you don't take this out, the gel coat is not gonna penetrate through this little filter and come out the, the nozzle. You have to take this out, okay? And this is very important, people. You gotta pay attention to this stuff. Be organized before you start. I have my cup for mixing with my Total Boat gel coat without wax, because I wanna do several coats. My MEKP right here my total boat total boat surface prep and uh de-waxer which i've already gone over this piece with i have some xylene right here because i just looked and i'm out of acetone i've got one cup here with some xylene in it ready to go so that i can take this gun apart and put the parts directly in here this one has a little teeny tiny bit of xylene in it this is my dump cup to dump whatever is left over in there into here you do not have a lot of working time with this Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set, I'm going to show you the mixing into this cup. And as soon as I pour it into that gun, wherever the camera is and what it films is what it films. I'm going to try really hard to, to move the camera. Um, so I've got you guys in mind because you want to see how this is done. Again, we're going to be spraying on the piece and I'm going to be turning it as I'm spraying. I don't want to go super heavy with this. But I want to go heavy enough so that I get some good buildup and no sagging. That's the important thing. And that's where it becomes a little tricky. So I am going to shut the camera off real quick. Let my heater heat the shop up, shut that off, and then we'll come back and we'll start mixing up the gel. All right, so I know you can still hear the heater, but the, 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 the hot parts is shut off. Okay, so we're going to get our... And the lid is on. I, I made sure. We're going to shake this up pretty good. So it says on the back of the can here, 14 to 16 drops per ounce. And we're gonna do the 16. We've got four ounces, so it's 32 drops. All right, that's all mixed up. Get the stir. And you wanna stir this up pretty good. All right, here we go.
Well, other than a couple of pinholes that I think were from some solvents uh, flashing, I can't even turn this now, but we can turn you. See, there's a couple of little holes there, and there's a couple right there. Um, but I think, again, that's, I probably didn't, I, I should have run my hair dryer over this. I always do, and I didn't because I'm filming and not paying attention to what I'm doing. So, anyway, but yeah, so it looks a little bit of orange peel here and there. Um, I'm okay with that because it's just coat one. Um, what I didn't notice in the sanding is that there's actually a pretty good, let's see, right there and right there and right there. There's actually a couple of little dings. That may have actually happened when I dropped this and they kind of blew out of there. I have no idea. Um, but that being said, um, I am going to attempt, I'm going to attempt to get this into the other shop to dry because that shop stays warmer longer. So I'm going to go grab some gloves and we're going to see how that goes. <laughs> So I'm pretty happy. I'm excited. Um, I still have one more of these to do to spray and, and, uh, I still have a little bit of fairing left to do on it, but yeah, good so far today. And we'll pick this back up. Probably, probably going to be a few days before, uh, today's Friday. So probably going to be a couple of days before I get back in here, but yeah, I'm excited. See you guys.